The NTX Adventure motorbike concept was unveiled by CF Moto at ECMA last year. Although not much was known about it, it was evident that it was a move toward more extreme twin-cylinder off-road vehicles. With the release of a type approval document that shows many variants and offers the first official specs, the bike has now been verified as production ready. In order to match the current 800 MT model, it is anticipated to enter production shortly under the 800 MTX name. The KTM designed 799cc LC 8C parallel twin engines powers the KTM 790 Duke Adventure, Husqvarna Svartpilen 801, CF Moto 800 NK, and Ibex. It is built for CF Moto and KTM at their joint venture in China. Despite being superseded by the 889cc 890 version in KTM's lineup and the entirely rebuilt 947cc 990 twin in the new 990 Duke, the unit has proved to be contemporary, lightweight, and compact. According to the type approval paperwork, the engine of the MTX generates 94 horsepower. We may assume that the torque peak of the MTX will be the same as the present bike's 57 LBFT, as the same value is also stated for the Ibex and the KTM 790 Adventure. It will most likely use the same six-speed transmission and slipper clutch as the Austrian motorbike because the engine comes from the same production line as the KTM 790 unit. The MTX's frame and fuel tank arrangement are similar to those of the KTM 790 Adventures. The twin low-mounted plastic tanks on either side of the engine are filled from a single conventionally positioned fuel tank in front of the seat. The engine and frame are both clearly lifted from the 790 Adventure. This technique not only helps lower the bike's apparent mass at low speeds by shifting the center of gravity, but it also makes it possible to have a longer, flatter seat that reaches farther front, allowing you to place more weight over the front wheel when riding off-road. Here, off-road skill is undoubtedly paramount. The MTX is equipped far more like the KTM 790 Adventure, with 19-inch front and 17-inch rear wheels, and suspension with 6.3 inches of travel up front and 5.9 inches of travel out back, respectively, than the basic Ibex S&T variants. Compared to the road-focused Ibex S&T, its geometry, suspension travel, and ground clearance are significantly better suited to real adventure riding. However, like previous CF motos, it is anticipated to feature KYB suspension rather than KTM's more dependable WP components. Similar to the KTM 790 Adventures, the wheels have 90-90-21 and 150-70-18 rubber on them, and are 21 inches in front and 18 inches in rear. The revised type certification may indicate that the CF Moto's chassis geometry is more akin to that of the more robust KTM 890 Adventure R than it is to that of the 790 or 890 Adventure. At 60.2 inches, the wheelbase is somewhat longer than the basic Adventure, and same to the Adventure R, suggesting the adoption of a higher suspension with additional travel. Additional measurements verified by the document include 91.8 inches in length, 37.2 inches in width across the handlebars, and 54.9 inches or 53.5 inches when the bottom screen is placed in height. Additionally, it weights somewhat less than the KTM model. The type approved version's reported curb weight, including fuel, is 471 pounds. That is somewhat less than the 790 Adventure, which weighs 480 pounds in same condition. The fuel capacities of the two motorcycles are unknown at this time though. A variation of the MTX with an aluminum trunk attached has also received type approval from CF Moto, increasing its curb weight to 518 pounds. Because of the variety of trunks, two distinct screen heights, and the option to select between a more road-focused front hugger that remains near to the tires and a high-mounted front fender, the company's type approval paperwork have actually identified no less than eight variations of the bike. The manufacturing version includes various compromises as compared to the idea displayed at ECMA. 
Brembo four-piston front calipers and shrouded rotors are components of the concept bike, however the final model has J1 calipers, as used by KTM, and no more plastic around the discs. In addition, the motorcycle receives passenger foot pegs, which were absent from the concept motorbike. Additionally, the road legal version of CF Moto's exhaust will replace the Akropovic exhaust on the bike on exhibit. The MTX will shortly come off the assembly line when type approval is finished. For the first time, CF Moto and sister business KTM will be fierce competitors in the same market, since the concept version made its debut in Europe and is predicted to become a worldwide model rather than merely for the Chinese market.